Hello and welcome. So in this video we are going to do our lab 42 that is delegating controls in Active Directory. So we are still working in Windows Server. If you want to follow along here are the instructions. Alright so let's get started. So what we're going to do is uh, tools active directory pretty common most of the stuff you do from here you don't touch anything here unless you are here unless you are a little bit senior again you will be doing that all in um, uh, in a smaller environment corporate environment tend to have a team just dealing with it and not just one team multiple teams uh, if it's global like mine then they have follow the sun pattern where these teams are located in different countries or continents all right so active directory user and computers and if even if you're a smaller one you will be doing um, maybe 90 to 95 99 percent of your work inside here So delegate control is basically somebody or you doing something for someone else on their behalf. That's the uh, um, probably the easiest definition. So user provision group. Again, I'm gonna just check name, it will show up here. I'm gonna double click on it and click OK. So it's enlisted in here, select next. So what they can do. Now we are, uh, we are giving these two powers to anyone who is in the user provisioning group and it is very stupid that we are giving that power to a guest just fun, funny uh, so in essence that this is what we're doing create so whoever is in that group can create delete and manage another user accounts uh, reset user password and force password change at next logon so this is though whoever is in that group can do that click next and we're done so this is the power delegation. Now you look at it, that uh, that user is not an admin. And it's bas basically a guest. Now, but that's how delegation is work. Because if we wanted an admin, we could go ahead and find the admin group. Uh, should be somewhere. And administrator is a group. We could add them. Uh, up. Nope, it's a user. So we could add the, like if there is a user, um, oh, sorry, if there is group admin group, we could add it, the guest to them and make them uh, admin. Or what we could do is we take any guest, uh, any user, for example, cert publisher, you go properties, and from member of you put add and add men search it will sh nope so check name yeah so for administrator i wanna say it won't no not in groups ah so basically it's not going to show up here we go advance or we go object type not groups ah it's not letting me uh, select it so basically it's forcing everything to be searched in groups while we can change it to all or an administrator group will show up but that's how you do it so hopefully I did it right 
let's evaluate it <clears throat> all right uh, good deal i hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one